Hi there, this is Mr. Haslett. So I'm going to put together another demonstration. So this one came from Mary. I wanted to ask about a skunk porcupine cat, and specifically the skunk stripes, porcupine's body, and cat claws. So um, what I'd like to do right now is I'd like to show how I might do that. So I'm going to switch over here to a screen shutter stock. That's a site where I like to do a lot of searching for images. And on Shutterstock, you'll see this picture of a skunk. And here, this picture of a porcupine. So what I want to do is I'm going to use the main body of the porcupine because, Mary, you asked about the stripes for a skunk. So I'm going to do the main body of this, and then I'm going to outline about where the stripes should be. But you're right, this is a great question. It's tricky because of all these spikes. And so what we might do is we might just have spikes on part of the creature, like maybe sweeping just up the sides or maybe like a mohawk in the back. If we just have the spikes on one part, you'll still be able to show the stripes. So maybe, actually that gets me thinking, maybe we'll do them like a mohawk of porcupine quills in the middle and then do the skunk, skunk stripes on either end because see how they divide over here? We could even keep the white there and then maybe wherever there's black, we could do a porcupine quills. So you've got some options like this. So. I just choose a little bit here and there. So I'm going to go to my other screen and this will be the screen where I show you how this is going about and I'll do my best. This is a great question. This is a tough one. Okay, so here we go. Skunk, porcupine, cat. So I'm looking at this picture of the porcupine, and first I'm gonna look for those geometric shapes. I see this oval right over here. I see this small face right over here. You see it kind of comes in here, and there's this approaching foot, so it's a bit of a parallelogram. This one, I just see a little bit of shadow. I'm assuming that's a foot right there, so I'm gonna give something of a place, and I see the porcupine tail. All these quills and spikes going out. So let me fix this face a little bit. This looks kind of like a little dinosaur. That doesn't work. So here I'm going to draw some lines over. Notice how I'm going darker so that I can know which lines I want to keep more. See a little bit of a line over here. All right, see, here's the eye. I see a bit of a shine. And I see a little indication of a nose. I think it's like that. It's really hard to see. Kind of comes up a little bit over here too for what that mouth looks like. And he's got a little bit of whiskers too. So a little bit over here. I don't see anything. I don't see his ears. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a hatching lines. I showed about showed this in that video with the rabbit. These lines, but if you put them closer together, it'll make it look darker. So I'm actually gonna do a little bit of that around here with the eye. And this nose is all pretty dark, so I'm going to do a lot of those hatching lines here with extra lines in the nostrils. All right, so that's the face so far. I'm going to do a few of these quills coming up just to help remind me that's what those are going to be. So there's the, there's the face so far. I'll zoom so you can see it a little bit better. And focus, there we go. So I'll do a little bit more so you can see the strokes here at this close up. Here's where it starts to get wider and here's where I'm going to start needing to know where the, the skunk stripes are going to be. This is kind of a white hair, so I'm going to do just a few, just to give an indication of those. Here gets a little bit shorter, a bit of a transition. All right, so now I'll back up a bit and switch screens. I'm going to look at the skunk. Sorry, I can't put this up at the same time yet. But here I'm going to, I notice it's in the stripe on the back of the skunk going up. And then one end goes over here. I see this black end in the middle. Now, again, I don't know how this is going to blend together yet. But I'm going to just do these lines and see how that see how that fits. I'm going to try to show this round shape for the round body, and I really like that skunk tail a little bit more than the porcupine tail. So from this example, I'm just going to show that. Um, in this picture I'm looking at, it's just it's hanging lower, a bunch here and then lower. So 
I'm going to do that. And this is made up of some lines. The general rule with hairs is you go the direction the hair grows. So I'm sorry, this is off screen. So I've got this basic idea how it flows down. I'm making these darker lines so you can see a little bit better. And I was saying the direction the hair goes, I'm starting at the follicle and I'm going out from there. That way these individual lines, you'll be able to see it fade off. So that's the best way to do it. So now this tail, I can kind of see the stripe going on the side. So I'm gonna do these lines just as a placeholder, just to remember, do a little bit of shading. And then I have to try to imagine there's gonna be a middle to that somewhere. So that might help give me an idea of where the direction of those hair should go. And then I was happy about this part right here. So oh, I'm looking at the picture. Good thing I have a source picture. See the hairs go down from here. That's gonna be better. I'll just pretend I needed, I meant to go this direction on purpose down here. It, but it's gonna be part of the shadow. Ha. Ah, here, go in the right direction. I'm gonna get rid of this little line out here. And that tail's getting there. Let me back up here and see the whole creature. So I like these white lines in the back. So I'm gonna keep those and I'm gonna switch over to the porcupine again. Oh, those are a lot of quills. So here's one thing you might do too. Yeah, this is gonna work well. Um, this could work for a lot of different animals. I'm gonna do some shading. Notice I'm using the side of the pencil, I'm holding to the end. Not the very edge, it's kind of like what my dentist used to say. She said, hold, hold your toothbrush like this so that when you're brushing, you don't put too much pressure. She said, your gums are receding there. You brush too hard. So just if you go, if you hold your toothbrush a certain way, then you can't go too hard with it. Same is true with the pencil. If you wanna make sure you're not going too hard, you want a nice even area. Hold on to one end. I'm gonna blend that. You might be thinking, why is he blending this when he's got spines? That's nothing like smooth. That's because when I'm looking at this picture, of the porcupine quills, I see it's almost kind of furry. It's this dark fur and then it's got light quills on top. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna erase those quills. I'm gonna draw a little bit just for an indication, but I'll do that later. I'm gonna take this eraser and the sharpest end I could find on this. And what I'm gonna do is after I have a pretty medium gray, I'm gonna erase some lines and see how that works. Now they'll probably be a little bit too thick than what I'm going for, but that's what drawing details on top can do to help fix that. I'm also gonna blend a little bit in here in the face just to make sure that these are unified. All right, so I'm gonna look at the directions. There we go. Small lines coming out, small lines coming out. You can get a bit of an indication of how of where these are going. I really want these to flow in the direction that the, yeah, in the direction that the quills go. And correct those with a few extra lines and then these are going to be going up all right so far okay so just like those other ones other demos i'm going to say just keep going look here if i outline these see now it looks like i drew with white i'm going to go on the outside of these and these are just in the direction that we're going and you'll see these quills are all of a sudden starting to look like they really come out and i'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see the detail going on the outside of these that are already aligned. So if I do a few more lines, maybe even some that overlap like good tree branches, then, because a lot of these overlap, hopefully you'll be able to see a couple of quills, look at that. This is gonna work well, that's what I'd recommend. So you've got a pencil, I'm gonna do some shading, then I'm gonna erase some of those quill lines and I'm gonna outline on the outside there. That would be my plan of attack, how we go for this creature. Mary, it's a creative idea. Those animals, that's gonna work really well. And for the cat claws, that's gonna be really fun. When you look at pictures of a cat, those would be pretty fun to add, something like that. But a picture will help you. There we go, skunk porcupine cat. I hope this video makes things a little bit easier to understand in a way that could be good to put together. Thanks very much.